Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you and explain you the settings of the S830 display. You have uh, asked me to do this for some time now, so I'm going to go through all of those. First of all, to access the advanced settings, you need to press up and down arrows and hold them pressed for a few seconds. And now we have P01, which is the first programmable parameter. And this is the display brightness and you can change it from the three available levels here. Then with the M button, you can go to the next P, which is the P02. This changes from miles to kilometers uh, while uh, uh, changing this value here. If you don't do anything, it's going to revert back. So when it's showing here miles or kilometer, and it has a 1 for mile and 0 for kilometer. Then on P03, you have the battery voltage. My bike has 36 volts, but you can change it accordingly to your bike. And you can see here that it adjusts also the battery level because this is a battery calibration tool. It doesn't do anything else. So if it's having a battery that is uh, 48 volts, you can see now that uh, it says that my battery is over discharge. So I need to go back and change it to 36 volts. And you can see just like magic, my battery is now charging back. All right, so then we have P04, that's the sleep timer. So when you leave the bike unattended and turn on, in 10 minutes it's going to shut off. You can change that, of course you can adjust it. On P05 you get the assisted modes and how many levels you want. On this bike you can have a 3, 5 and 9 if you change them with the up key. And with the down key, you can change if you want to also have zero mode or not. Zero mode means disabled and you have no assist, but you can also pedal with no power. So you can enable, disable that non-assisted mode and have here five or nine or three working modes as you wish. And this is the zero mode. Let's go back to the settings. And then we have P06. And that's the wheel size calibration and you enter your uh, wheel diameter. P07, this is related to the type of the motor installed on your bike. If the bike works, don't adjust it, otherwise you are going to have a lot of strange issues such as not seeing the correct display speed or the motor not working properly. Further on we have P08 and this is the speed limit for the bike. You have here the possibility to adjust it in uh, kilometers per hour so you can put this up to 100 kilometers per hour which is of course not possible on this bike but this is going to do 40 kilometers per hour when it's set to 100 here right on p09 then we have uh, zero and no zero start so that means that the accelerator will work uh, if the bike is stationary it's going to start right off or with non-zero start, it means that you need to get something like 3-5 km per hour and only then the accelerator will be uh, enabled. It's mostly a safety feature, so you don't accidentally start from standstill by hitting the throttle and the bike will just uh, jump away. Let's go back. As you can see, the display reverts rather quickly to the normal operating mode. So then we have P10 and this is the drive mode, zero means uh, assisted, one means electric only, and two means combination. Uh, it means that you can both use assisted and throttle modes. Then we have P11, which is the assist delay. Uh, it means that the bike uh, will uh, try to anticipate your pedaling and to react faster or slower depending on how you wish it to react. So if you want to pedal a bit and you don't want to mo the motor to start right away, you can introduce a delay so the assist comes a bit later. Further on, we have the P12. And P12 is uh, the assisted power intensity. So the bike has five levels here. It means the strength amount that the, uh, the bike puts when it's starting to assist. So on fifth being the strongest one. So when it detects that you are pedaling, it's going to give all the motor power right away until it reaches the speed limit that you have set on the display and assisted mode. On P13, 
13 you have the sensor type of the assisted magnet you have the disc that reads your crank rotation and those are several types of sensor with 5 8 and 12 magnets so you need to choose the according one so your assist mode works uh, normal then on 14 you have the controller amps you can adjust here but uh, usually this doesn't do anything because it's uh, actually limited by the motor controller that is installed in the bike if you have a more powerful controller you can try changing the amps and the bike should accelerate a bit faster on 15 you have uh, something that you cannot adjust this is the controller low voltage so when the battery on 36 calibration reaches 29 volts is going to shut down the controller so it protects the battery and last but not least on p616 you have uh, the bike original odometer and in theory you should be able also to reset this but i'm not going to show you how because you know, can easily understand the reasons for that so just leave it that way don't need to reset the original odometer and that was it, as you can see, rather simple to understand and to use. The only single annoying thing on this is that if you don't change the settings quickly, it's going to go back to the menu, so you need to go again in the advanced menu and then go to the setting that you actually want to change, change it, and then it's going to revert back. Also keep in mind that some of the settings will not work right away after you change them, so you should power cycle by shutting down the bike but you cannot do that in this menu so you need to actually leave it using the buttons or just waiting it for timeout then turn off and then turn back on and the setting should be applied and working and the settings are saved even if you remove the battery they should not erase themselves so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this video be sure to also check the other ones here related to e-bikes until my next video see you and bye bye